naturally I would be out here in sandals instead of boots because you know boots would make sense boots would at least give you some protection from a pygmy rattlesnake <laughs> Guys, I'm on the Gulf Coast of Florida right now, and it's April, and there is no place that I can think of that I would rather be in the United States this time of year as a wildlife photographer. So I'm making my way through what's known as a tropical hardwood hammock right now. I'm basically working my way out to the edge of a dried up lake bed uh, in order to find sandhill cranes. So Florida, believe it or not, actually has sandhill cranes. This is a unique species. This is completely different from what you find at places like Bosque del Apache, for instance. This is what's known as the Florida sandhill. It is a subspecies of the greater sandhill crane that we find out west. Um, but these guys are found at no other place in the world. This particular subspecies. They're actually non-migratory. They live here year-round. They're a little bit smaller. They look a little bit different. Personally, I think there's a slightly different coloration to these guys, but you can find these sand hills here year-round like this, and that's one of the things that makes them very unique. Now, we call them the Florida Sandhill Crane, even though they used to actually live all along the Gulf Coast. Um, so really, we should probably refer to these guys as the Gulf Coast or the Gulf Sandhill Crane or something like that. But the problem is today, this is the only place that you can find this species now. We've actually obliterated their population everywhere else. Um, so they used to be found in Texas and Alabama and Louisiana and Mississippi. Uh, however, because of habitat destruction and hunting, you can no longer find them in any of these locations. So Florida is the last remaining home of this population right here. we have to ask ourselves why exactly these species of prairie specialists like burrowing owls and sandhill cranes would even live in a place like Florida to begin with. Um, you know, we don't typically think of this kind of lush, almost subtropical like paradise as being a place where you would find prairies. But historically, prior to condos and McMansions moving into the area, you had great swaths of dry prairies all through southern Florida. In fact, this area right Right here is actually geographically a part of what's known as the desert belt that actually kind of goes all the way around the planet and so back then you had these species like sandhill cranes like burrowing owls and even turkeys that moved into this area to take advantage of these dry prairies like this and once they got here of course they became genetically isolated from the greater population at large and slowly but surely evolved into their own unique subspecies Thank you. 
Alright, so we made our way through the forest to the edge of this old lake bed that you can kind of see behind me. It almost looks like a gigantic golf course basically, but maybe just a little bit more lime or neon green here. Um, so what's happened is the water has receded, we're in the dry season right now, and now you have all this vegetation that's starting to spring up. And this is where the sandhill cranes are. I walked back out to the truck, I got my camera equipment, I got my, uh, my straw hat on here because I'm going to be in the sun for a while. And now we've made our way back out here to the edge of this field, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working my way out to try and get in close to these sandhill cranes. But I wanted to set up the camera and go ahead and shoot a little bit of video like this because once we start moving out there, none of this sort of stuff is going to be possible. We're going to basically have to go into stealth mode as uh, as we approach these sandhill cranes. But as you can see, it almost, like I said, looks like a gigantic golf course behind me. And so the way we're going to work this is we're going to get our tripod, we're going to get our camera down as low as we possibly can to the ground. Now, from my last video you probably saw, I don't actually use a tripod that has a center column. What that does is it allows me to bring my legs all the way out like this and get that camera or get that lens just inches off of the ground and by doing this it's going to allow me to kind of shoot right across the top of this low grass here and it's going to not only minimize this just kind of big wide empty expanse right here but it's all going to also going to create this very cool very ethereal sort of feel to the photographs. I mean, come on, eye level, that close, watching the two adults feed the chick, I mean, how extraordinary was that?
God, I love this place. Hands down, the Gulf Coast of Florida is one of my favorite places in the entire world. And that says a lot, given that I get to travel the entire world doing this sort of stuff. When I stand up, don't move.